Um, and I have got queued. I've, I've queued up a load more. So very well. There, it's brilliant. Uh, so right <coughs> for the benefit of YouTube. <coughs> Uh, welcome to uh, OCC match day one uh, of us in the championship. We're playing against um, Nurgle, uh, and this is Regor, uh, and we're playing with our high elves. So, um, without further ado, we'll move straight into it and see what we can get. Playing Green, Green River. No, don't tell him. You guys can feel like collectively as a unit you've educated me in the ways of more music. So, right. Why do we just go with the wizard? A wizard would just be great, wouldn't it? Ah, fuck it. Bribe. Only cost me 40k. <laughs> Andy discovered a 50-year-old song. Wow. Yeah, but it was, it was a good song. It was a good song. Killjoy's not a fan of that. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's see what happens. Uh, should we have a bit of a prediction? I think this game. Uh, chat, you guys going to give us a prediction? Uh, I'm the home team here, so 2-1 uh, is me, 1-2 is them. Um, what do you think, guys? What will the score be? Um, do you give me much of a chance? Ardvark optimistically comes back straight away with an 8-0. Um, I hope I don't lose that much. Helgen 1-2. Oh dear. I think we'll receive. Uh, they've got two tackle. So I'm home. Um, there's, a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a good chunk of you think I'll lose. Sparkle Crotch Thotty. No Hotty, of course. Not Sparkle Crotch Hotty. That's someone completely different. Um, so, uh, a, a Pyrrhic victory of 2-1. Oh, God. I don't want a Pyrrhic victory. We're in the championship. It's important we have a proper victory. <laughs> a Sparkle, we remember everything here. I remember, in fact, I said to you the other day, I was like, all right, Sparkles, how are we? I remember that. I remember all. Now that's an interesting setup. I'll let him finish first, and then we'll discuss why that's an interesting setup. Uh, he's a quality coach. Um. I expect he probably is. I do not expect any easy games this season. How much of a bench have the Nurgle got? Uh, they've got one. Um, and I've got two. Uh, I've got none. Let's see what happens. Um, what I find interesting is this team doesn't have a great deal of guard. Um, so I think, although he's got the natural strength advantage, um, I've got, I think I've got the natural guard advantage here. Uh, you do? I've got four guard, he's got two. Uh, what tier is this? This is uh, top tier. This is ch um, championship. Oh, he... Uh, Rhaegar, uh, just giving a quick shout out there. Uh, he wants to um, 
Shout out for Orlensis and Helgen, uh, friends from BB Tactics. Helgen, you have a friend. One subtle positioning swing of his sword, um, uh, he's uh, he's gone and stopped what I was going to do. We'll see. Right, um, it's all about leveling up players, so we'll do that. Let's just bring everything forward first of all. So, right, uh, what we're going to do here? What are we actually going to do? What is our what is our stratagem? What do we want to achieve? So he's got twelve players. Interesting to see that he um, uh, didn't put the uh, pestigore with the uh, the mighty blow and claw on the bit on the on the field. Um, that, that is an interesting choice. Now I'm po I'm ponder what I'm pondering is um, what we can do is put two assists in here, uh, run in and block. Um, if I do the blitz first as my first blitz, uh, block action, uh, if we get the knockdown, I can then stand here, um, and you get assists, and I can foul. Sorry, I can f I do it. It's my hmm, probably do it second action and follow, um, and then I can foul um, uh, on the Nurgle warrior. Get enough assists. I need to. Oh no! I need to foul from there. So I need to put the assists in there and there. If you put block in, that's okay. Foul from there. One two. One two. You foul from there, don't you? Sorry. You push him there. You foul from that square. You foul from there. So that is armor eight, armor seven, armor six, armor five. Yeah, it works. So let's do that. <laughs> oh blimey someone just subscribed um oh orelensis um go record hey to be fair Orelensis, if you want to if you want to subscribe every month and then cheer on my opponent I, i'm probably all right with that as a trade-off um yeah that's, that's an all right trade that isn't it uh we need two assists and i need a blitz have i actually got enough spare players to do a blitz to do a blitz. So. Uh, you're going to do the foul. So you're blocking. And following. That's important that you follow here. And I need two more assists. There and there. So. You're one of the assists. You're the other assist. You're the blitz. Uh, that catcher really becomes vulnerable. Yeah, that catcher becomes vulnerable. Let me drag you back. You don't become part of the assist screen. Okay. Alright, I think I've got a plan. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking perfect defence. I know, what we'll do is I'll plan all that time, I'll put all that effort in, and then this fucking thing happens. Asshole. Asshole! Asshole! <laughs> um, so, uh, Aritark, thank you very much. Pid pad for the, th the three-peat. What do you mean three-peat? Do you mean uh, the, the, uh, the third instalment? Not for laughs at you and your plan. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, Fanfox, you say he hasn't got a beast in Nurgle. Check that fucker out. He has. 
He's got strength five, block guard, tentaclesy thing. He kind of has. He kind of has. But he doesn't have a. What you could do is you could go. Do you know what? He's got a. Uh, he's got a reliable beast to Nogle, but only three Nogle warriors. He said his team's beat up. Um. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, this is ball. This is ballsy from him. Wow. Go big or go home. Wow. I'm. Well, I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Wow. This is a big call. Turn one. He's gonna let me let me do do. Uh, wow. Wow, <laughs> I was gonna say it again. So the, the reason I'm I'm so like, oh really? This is uh, this is a very ballsy play. Um, is that um, w what he's what he's doing is he's daring me to try and hit him, um, and and trusting in the fact that he's just bigger and stronger. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. He might work. So I'm going to basically go, well, fuck the ball. Because <laughs> there's no point getting involved in the ball. It's more important to make sure that we um, control stuff. The ball is absolutely completely secondary here. Um... We'll see what happens. Right. So, um, if we put guard in there. That gets the two those two dealt with. Um, can we actually deal with this? Oh, it's a shame they've not got guard. It's a real shame. Just one guard there would make a big difference. So you can wedge the guard in there. Still one uphill because we're strength three, four, five. If you can move that out of the way. If you can move that out of the way. Everything else would slot into place. That'll be two uphill. That'll be one. You get the push. You get the block. Wow. It's not a straightforward, is it? It really isn't straightforward because that's not got guard. That not having guard is really not helping. Engage, do you run away? You do the blitz there. That could then be. I think you might have to concede the, the fightiness here. I might have to concede that that's actually not going to work. And I want to split these up because while they're together, they're a pain. 
All right. Let's let's concede the fightiness. That's a shame. No armor break. Need two assists in there. Push him. Could get one in there. Have to go one there. We'll go for it. Blitz. Push into him. Out. No, it's just not a good idea, is it? No, it's just not a good idea. All right, let's let's take the safer of the two options at this stage. Blimey. Okay. Okay. So I decided to take the, take the ball uh, and take it away from um, the uh, the Chaos Warriors, uh, the Nurgle Warriors, uh, and try and split the play up. That's the, the, the idea here, is can I split up the play? Um, because the more we stretch the, Chaos, the, the Nurgle out, uh, the easier it will be to deal with stuff. Uh, tentacles doing a, doing a job on two players there, which is a shame. Um... We'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, is the is this guy going to take jump up? Yes, he absolutely is. He absolutely is going to take jump up. Um, hello, Coldy. Nice to have you back. Um, uh, yeah, his his next skill is jump up. Um, I don't know. What, I think it's going to be jump up and dodge. I think. Um, so. Uh, if he goes for a surf over here, um, he's basically conceding the board. Because if he goes for that, um, I will just take all the elves and just go over there. Uh, we'll see. I think, yeah, he's going to blitz this. Look, he's going to go for this catcher here. Uh, what I do like about that early casualty, no regen, um, is that now he's got 11 players. So... He'd be much less inclined to use the dirty player to foul stuff because he's only got 11. Um, so hopefully we get to keep 11 players. Please, please. Yes. Okay. <coughs> they might not want to hit here because um, the, that means the tentacles, at the moment the tentacles is affecting two players. Um, if he hits, I'm sidestepping away from the tentacles. Uh, so he's going for maximum opportunity, um, three dice, gets the pow, gets two pals in fact. Uh, I'm going to split the players up, moving towards the ball. 
Okay. That's got tackle, so I don't fancy going anywhere near that. Um, I'm not going to go there, because that would be the nice place to go to uh, to pin. But we're not going to do that, so we'll just go away. Um, he's glued in place a little bit there. Wow, okay. He's going for it. KOs to get away from strats. Well, yeah, quite. Um, we'll see. This one does not have guard. Okay. Uh, assuming he's still, if he's still interested in the foul, um, no, he's not. He's not going to go for the foul. Uh, let's let's see what he does. Where's the one with the niggle? There. Uh, what I would like to do is take the ball and just take it over the uh, over the corner because um, if he's conceding um, yardage, I'd, I'd like to take that yardage and go fine. Yep, I'll take that. Um, Do a block there. And a follow. Put the guard in there. Follow. Blitz. Oh, it doesn't really give us enough. Doesn't really give us enough, I think. I think it's just take the ball and bugger off with it this turn. So, fine. If, if that's what it is, if that's what it is. Um, I haven't got jump up, so I can do one, two, three, and then run away. So we'll put the... Wrestle tackle guy in direct um, uh, thingy here. Thank you very much. Protect the guard. Um, set the DP. Ball is going to get thrown to this guy. Um, and we can throw it from there. So I'll throw the ball to there. So if I'm throwing the ball there. Where can you get to? One, two, three, four. So you're going to have to get to there. So we need to put the guard here. It's all about protecting all the guards. Could throw the ball, just have it against the sideline, I suppose. You're going there. One, two, three, four. And you need to go there. I think you're going to have to put... I'm going to have to put the guard against the sideline. Uh, we need to do the blitz as the next action. Uh, no.
go. And I'm going to leave him lying down. There's no point getting him glued to tentacles. Um, he'll be back about half an hour. So... Yeah, I, I didn't like the idea of a, of a snake there. Uh, I thought that was a bad idea. <laughs> Just one second. Um, Combuster says, if you leap, do you, uh, sorry, do you roll for tentacles or not? Yes, you do. Um, so that's why we haven't stood him up and let, tried to leap away. Um, what I'm also mindful of is I'd like to, if possible, I'd like to level up this guard guy. Um, at least try and get him to dodge or block uh, as he's at 16 points. So if I'm allowed to choose who's scoring this drive, um, we've got uh, the kick guy. Yep, that'd be quite nice. Um, not him. There's a guy on to, oh, 29 points. Superion uh, for Fend. That'd be quite nice. Um, or... Uh, this guy, so it's the guy lying down, this guy here, or this guy here. Uh, it wouldn't be devastating if the catcher holding the ball scores, because um, just getting to uh, to 76 would be quite nice. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll see now him. Uh, I think we're going to have two turns of. He's just going to line up, line up down the middle, and I'm going to move down here. And he's very fearful. I'm going to then run in and foul him. And he, I'm very fearful that he's going to run over and smash me in the face. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um. <laughs> Hello, Kabuster. Um Oh, I think we might see a foul. Oh no, he's just he's just trading out. He's just trading out some players. So he's taking the niggled guy that he won't want to get hit. He's, he's, he is quite good, isn't he? Uh, and he's taking out a low-value rotter um, and trying to swap them for better play, better value players here. Um, so um, he can then try and start putting a pressure on the ball, probably around sort of turn five or turn six. Right, we'll see. Um I wonder if he. I wonder which one of these two he's going to blitz. I mean, he he could as a go for it, go after Superior, but I'm not really sure. That he's, I'm feeling that. I think I think it'll be the wrestle wrestle guy or the kick kick guy. We'll see. Oh, he's going for the wrestle. All right. Gets the tackle. Won't won't follow this up. Almost certainly won't follow this up. Phew, glad he didn't follow that up. Uh, and the reason he didn't want to follow it up was because that would have left him exposed. Um, and there's there's no way he's going to give me a free uh, a free foul here. Just not a chance. <coughs> Um, now I'm okay with this trade because he's two players down um, and I'm one player down. Yes, it'd be nice to get this guy back, um, but at this stage, nah, I'm, I'm alright with that as a trade. Um, I think we're going to see uh, the tent. I think we're going to see his guys launch into us next turn. Um, so be mindful of that. Uh, where's his tackle there? Actually, let's go after that again. Um, so if we went, if I go, if I go there and I hit from side, he ends up there. So that's the square to stand in, and your blitz is there, and don't follow up. That's fine. 
Uh, I'd like my guard free next turn because um, I suspect that um, we're going to see uh, the tentacles guy be annoying. So I'd like to throw it to the guard. Get the ball, get the ball back on the baby guard player. We'll throw it from there and throw it to him. Um, that's going to be the blitz. And he's going to end up being... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In fact, he can just go and be a cage corner, can't he? So if we take... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll put you there. This is all very, very tactical. I, I quite enjoy these sort of games. So, where possible, spacing out the elves. Blitzing with our most dangerous player. Getting another push. So second push in three turns. Bit annoying. Farm is real. Leave that. And turn. Uh, Orenses, are you in? Um, you in the champ? At uh, the top of the champs? No, oh, he's got another knockdown. This one, he will follow up. Chooses not to pile on. One B, you finished fourth. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. <coughs> no full punish shield. <laughs> yeah, that was a game. That was Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow, that was a game. Hello, Chubstep. Uh, Bludge Guard, High Elf Blitzer, next skills, tackle or sidestep? Oh, sidestep. Um, unless you've got no tackle, uh, Necro. Um, ultimately, it's, it is both. Um, so he, if he's got dodge, that takes him to six. If he's got guard, that takes him to 16. Um, sidestep um, would take you to 31. Um, tackle and diving tackle would be probably the skills I'd, I'd choose to round them out. Um, you could drop diving tackle uh, for uh, fend. Uh, that's also a very strong skill pick. Um, okay, Necro, do you need the tackle? Because uh, if he's got guard... Sidestep guard is quite nice because the tackle diving tackle bit synergizes with the fact that you've probably thrown him into the t into the mix. Um, so depends on how you're going to play him, I guess. I'm planning on tackle for the other one. Um, well, high elf blitz is when you don't if you don't roll any normal interesting skills. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with um, taking. Um, tackle, diving, tackle, sidestep, dodge as a sort of a general skill route. That's quite strong.
Um, <clears throat> this guy's good. I like I like I like this game. This is a good good tactical game. <laughs> I don't remember him playing Regal. I don't remember Regal playing against uh, Zonk playing against Regal. Now, here's an interesting question. He's left me, I don't know if he spotted it, but he has left me two dice on his killer. Um, and, um, if we got really lucky, um, we'd get, um, we'd also get uh, a bunch of assists uh, for a foul on the strength five guy. And I'm just trying to weigh up whether I want to do it. So how do I do it? You take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blitz, one, two, three, four, five. Pushes into this guy, pushes him out of the way. He ends up there. Um, and we could get some uh, some fouling action on. Um, if we get the knockdown, he ends up there. You bring this guy in. You then knock him over. And he ends up in this square, um, and you've got lots of assists for a, a dirty foul. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So I think the first thing to do is assume for a second <coughs> that we're not going to get the knockdown on the uh, strength five guy. So let's get the dodge uh, block dodge out of the way. Um, and I don't want to get the tentacles roll uh, mashed, so because we'll be going one, two, and the tentacles will go there. Um, in fact, let's put him there. I I have a sneaking suspicion I might need to hand the ball off this turn. See. Gotcha. Um. So, we've got him down. Um, I can now... Do I go two dice that way, or do I go two dice that way? I think we go two dice that way. As you will be dodging there to cover that. You can run around there to cover that. I'd like to go two dice in this direction, but actually that's not a good idea. That's a shame. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh wow. Wow. 
uh, regen though. And that's just too big a foul to give away, isn't it? It's just too big a foul to not to not take. Oh, the regen worked. Unnecessary risk reward there. Um, out of interest, guys, what was the, uh, what was you, what what bit did you not guys not like on that one? Fucking regen. Well, yeah. Um, what that has done is that means that the, the that's. That really has looked after the first half, hasn't it? Richie Steedham, second, second block push push. You were in big trouble. Uh, you mean, do you guys mean the? Um, uh, do you mean the third block? Because um, we rolled. F was it? F uh, no, it's both double both down. Um, push. Uh, no, sorry, foul appearance and then a knockdown. The third. Yeah, yeah. Uh, am I going to stall to wait? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, a a absolutely. <laughs> there's no, there's absolutely no sense in letting him claw mighty blow hit us when we don't need to. Um, that, that just doesn't seem like any sort, of, any sort of sense whatsoever. Oh, you you didn't like the pushing the chat. Well, t to be to be fair, or I did sort of play for it. So whether it was the right idea, and I, I don't know, but I did. I deliberately went for it. It was a bit, a little bit greedy, but I did go for it. Oh God! Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Random shit block casualty. Uh, I am True Blue says, uh, really next time kill those smelly buggers. Um, we're trying. Uh, True Blue, were you here earlier? Have you watched the whole stream? Um... Re reason I ask that is because you have been on off. Um, did you see what happened with the nasty underworlds? Because um, it just was horrible. It just went nasty. It was very nice. Durin, thank you very much, sir. Um, anyone who hasn't seen Durin's show, um, big fan of the uh, PS4. Um, as in, Durin plays PS4, not I am a big fan of Durin's PS4. That'd just be odd. <laughs> Hello, mate. Now, one of these buggers has got a niggle. Oh, it's down there, isn't it? Um, There is a surf on a Nurgle Warrior. It's all of my resource to do it, but there is a surf on the Nurgle Warrior. So the question becomes, is it worth surfing the Nurgle Warrior? Um, push. Sidestep there. Push. Push, 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 push. It is doable. And all you need to do is put him there. Oh, I need to know. I need to move more. I'm a player short. 
and it would leave the ball horribly exposed. Um, at strength three, so you'd have to cancel that and put one in. So he could go bring, bring you there, bring you there, bring you there, block, see what happens, and follow, block, alright, yeah, let's do this. Oh, there's a dodge there. That's not very nice. No, I can't move you. If I stay... Follow that up. Alright, so there's no knockdown. I was going to keep going with that, and if we got to the point where we pushed him off, then I pushed him off. Um, if I didn't, then I was going to stop. Um, seemed like a reasonable trade to me. Um, where are we going to put the ball now? Really should have thought about that beforehand. Uh, if we put the ball on the catcher this turn. Oh, in fact, he can't go on the catcher. He's just got to go there. So we go, hold that square, hold that square, blitz from that square, put the ball there. Yeah. Seems like it's a good idea to me. Um, he will foul if I file on, and I haven't got Apothecary. Let's be greedy. How many turns we got left? Three, two. So I'd like to go leap and then walk off. Um, we'll cover the guy lying down, I think. not sure that was I'm really not sure actually I think that piling on I'm going to call this I think that piling on was maybe a bad idea I think that piling on was indeed a bad idea yeah that was a bad idea piling on no oh, please don't fuck me Bad piling on. Yeah, bad play. Bad play. Bad Andy. No, no, it was it was bad because this this exact it, it, let's say let's say this guy was killed, didn't regen. I'm still gonna suffer this. All that's gonna have happened is he just have to do something slightly different. Um What it what it has done is um Nah, it's just a bit just bad play. Uh, you guys talking about um, Xbox has more games played than PS4? Do you? Is it? Is it? 
is it two different things? So Xbox and PS4 are completely separate. Um, they don't. You don't get to play both. So there's effectively three different um, three different leagues, right? No cross platform. It's a real shame considering this game literally is just cross platform. Get sent off. Please don't screw me. Get sent off. Because then he's down to 10. So. Uh. Didn't get sent off. Didn't get killed. I mean, there's that. Look, those numbers the other way around are a, are a dead blitzer. Um. I'm not sure I like that. No random casualty for me. Turn six. So I'm looking at just bringing the ball over here, I think. Um, and then trying to go one, two, three, and then bring the catch around the back. I want to throw the ball to a bludge player. Um... Go and put you there. Put you there. So that that will give you enough screen. I think we throw the ball to the sidestep. I'm going to throw the ball to the sidestep one because then if something horrendous goes down um, I can sidestep to where I want to control the ball Uh, don't fancy leaving the leaping guy just lying on the floor. Uh, of course, don't have a choice. Just knocks himself out casually. <sighs> That's annoying. That's annoying. Um... Got it. Ch chat. How do we feel the chat? Uh, how do we feel the dice are going this uh, this seat this week um, uh, for this game? Good, bad, average. Um, first ball, ba oh fireball. No, there's no fireball. Um, I'm just working out whether we can get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, average, average, average. <laughs> average. This game in your favour, average. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think... I think there's both... I think we've both had things that have gone for us. Oh, for fuck's sake. And we've had things that have gone against us. Um, I'm a touch irritated that both those casualties regen and the uh, bribe fail you know, bribe fail um, on the f 
first first foul yeah first foul bribe gone um because we could easily be playing against eight here um and I'm a bit frustrated that th that's happened to us I'm four players down um at the same time everything else has broadly worked I'm Shubilee says I always have stream stream advice. Uh, yeah, he's two for two so far. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's just stunned the guy I want to score with. Uh. Okay, so we want to score with this guy, so... Um, oh, he has got two heads, and he probably will come for us. Because I know I would. So we need to go one, two, one, two, put him there, three, four... Five, six. How many players have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. For oh, fuck's sake. So if I put if I put the guy I want to hold the ball with there. So he goes there. If you go guard there. Guard there. And you need to hold, so you need to hand the ball off. You're going to go there. Two, three, four, five, six. Six. I need to hand the ball off from there, and I need a guard in there. That's disturbing fragrance. So he's all out. He's not in fragrance at this stage. I'm not. I'm not risking the reroll now. Just put the ball on the right elf. We'll see. See whether he's going to come in and dive for it. I suspect he might. He might. No, he's not. He's not going to dive for it. I was wondering whether he was going to take the two-headed guy and go, do you know what? Screw it. I'm going to come in for it. Um, but I've put guard around the front, so he's got to come around the back to get two dice. <laughs> this is a peculiar Nurgle match. Uh, Rotters outliving the Warriors. Yeah, but to be fair, um, not all the Rotters have outlived the Warriors. <coughs> uh, because... Um, the Warriors will regen. They're just not here.
Oh, fuck off. Really? Random shitty blocks. He keeps going in casualties with random shitty blocks. That's the second one. My arm has been awful this game. That's f is that, that is five removals this half. Yeah, there's five removals this half. God, shit. That is rubbish. When you've only got five pla 11 players, having five of them removed. Yeah, wait until you get the claw out. And I was like, oh yeah, he's only got one claw piece. Right, we'll get, get rid of that and we'll be on. Oh no. Uh, I haven't got any tackle left, have I? No, oh, he's taken out all the tackle. Fucking hell. Fuck. Yeah, the KO rolls are massive. And no kickers, just crippling. <laughs> I, yeah, but I do like a good tactical game. But this... Um, his Kaz dice have been horrendously good. Cripplingly good. So I... I random Kaz are random Kaz. They are indeed. Um, oh, we haven't got a kicker back. We have the one guy we absolutely need to come back. He was like, no, I don't fancy it, actually. Cheers, Andy. No way. I'm, I'm a player short of making this uh, e easy peasy, aren't I? That's just a load of three pluses. I can't make it not because that's just a load of three pluses. So is that. Ah, okay, fine. Um, TNSC, I'm glad you're enjoying the game. I, I'm enjoying the game, but I think I think my chances of winning have been dramatically reduced because um, of the first half. I, yes, yeah, scored, but I don't think I had the better of it. I think I had the worst of it by a chunk. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I think this will be one-one. The only way this isn't one-one is if he absolutely goes to town and murders us all. Um, which he might. But this is a, this has got 1-1 one, one written all over it. I'm hugely disappointed we've done no damage to him. He's got 12 players and I've done fuck all to him in a half. No. Oh. We'll see. We'll see. I said that about that Dark Elf game against the Orcs, if I remember. Um, going, oh, this is terrible. Woe is me. And um, and what happened? Oh, I suppose that's only fair, isn't it? Two perfect defences. Um, right, can't sign any of those squares. 
Let's swap you around so when you side, when you get pushed there, it's actually sidestep away. Uh, that's better, isn't it? Don't be disappointed, you got very lucky you're injuring that tent warrior. I didn't need to injure it though. Um Hello Donkey Dragon. Dark Elf question, my blodge, doc, uh, block dodge sidestep blitzer is leveled up, normally I take Fen, but I got Amazons next week, uh, no tackle, I'll oh, tackle then, uh, block dodge sidestep, um, block dodge sidestep, uh, Fen, tackle diving tackle is absolutely quite good. Yeah, um, Dude, Reno. Honestly, that's uh, that's fine. Take take the uh, take the f tackle. Um, he couldn't want to. Oh, he, I I set the players up. I say he couldn't. He chose not to try. Um. Uh, optional side step. Is there any reason for it? Uh, yes, um, because sometimes I. Um, another shit random casualty from absolutely nothing. Fuck off. Oh fucking hell! Honestly, bullshit casualties this game. Fucking bullshit casualties. That is really pissing me off. Fucking bullshit casualties. Still not got sent off. Fucking hell. Um, 28. It's not the star play. I can't, I haven't got any money. So it's, um, it's really, an, I haven't got any players. I'm really fucked off with the amount of players that keep dying on this team. And he's got, he had no kills. He's, he's not done any damage with any kill skill players. He's just destroying my team with this guy's got block. This guy's got fuck all. This guy's got a harsh stare. Like, fuck off. Bingley beep. Hello. You alright? Oh, not really. I'm getting fucked off with these elves. Oh no. Evening, folks. How are we all doing? <laughs> Hello, gang and baby Darvo. <laughs> um, we're getting smashed up by Nurgle um, when, on the first first couple of turns, we got rid of his killer. He's got one killer, by the way. Got rid of it. Didn't come back. Um, and he's caused. He was like, he's on seven removals or something stupid now. He hasn't got any good, decent players, and he's killed a player now. That's why I've lost my temper. F fuck! Oh. Who's dead? Anyone expensive? Um, it's 70k of elf I can't afford to buy back. That's what's dead. Oh. Oh. Well, I've had another day in paradise. 
Uh, tell you what, insurance, I'd have thought that'd be so much fun. Awesome. Duderino, you know it's only a matter of time. Come to me. Oh, Killjoy, I thought of you last night. I was watching some YouTube, and um, after watching some documentaries on heavy metal, stumbled across baby metal. Now, if that isn't right up your street, I don't know what is. You're probably wondering what that is, right, Andy? Uh, TNS says insurance isn't that just legalised mafia. Well, TNS, it, it's not called enough you can't refuse. It's called your renewal. Um, so there you go. Yep, I knew, I knew Killjoy would dig baby metal. It, it, it's it's kind of disturbing and yet compelling at the same time and it looks like quite a lot of the audience are familiar with baby metal's um uh body of work i say body of work loosely um two albums in i think <laughs> um i i don't know really quite how to fully describe baby metal to you andy other than check them out on youtube because whatever words i use wouldn't really sum it up You're see. not interested, are you? you, you, you I'm, I'm quite... Indeed. An, no, I'm just quite irritated. I, this this was, please don't go horribly wrong, and it's just gone... It keeps getting... It just, it's like it's like lemon juice on cuts. It just keeps getting worse, and slightly worse, and slightly worse. And I'm I'm annoyed by how badly this is going. <laughs> baby Davo says anything with baby in the name must be good. <laughs> Necropotence says he's going to look for future just baby metal necropotence that they're quite apparently they're quite popular. Um, that they're, they're 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 very different. It's not bad. I I I don't hate it. It's it's just it it's it just feels wrong in quite a lot of ways. But um, yeah, strangely quite good. Oh, um, I uh, I discovered um, all on my own um, a, a new band today, Zunk. You finally discovered T Rex? No, um, Credence. No, no, uh, Credence Clearwater Revival. Um, I thought they were quite well, good. You, I, I, I was the, the, my two suggestions, right, were meant to be ridiculous because I was citing. Uh, iconic bands from the 70s and 80s or the 60s 70s and 80s mm -hmm. and then you just cited another iconic band from the 60s and 70s so um actually whilst i was trying to be ridiculous i wasn't actually very far off if you'd have given if you'd have given me 20 guesses that might have been one of them so well done andrew um well, fa uh, favorite son that's good isn't it um, bad moon rising they're on the playlist yeah, I know. I, to be honest, I was really surprised that the stream hadn't pointed out beforehand, but... Um... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh no. This is very good. Oh, God. Davos twin bit. Saimar says uh, the members of Kami Band are talented. Do, do you know, Saimar, I was thinking that. There, there seems to have been two lineups that initially there was a bunch of um, unnamed, anonymous fellas just in skeleton suits, but then... At some stage, you got the regular five blokes in the background um, who were also dressed quite unusually, but they, they do seem they can play. Um, they had Rob Halford on doing a, a, a like a it wasn't quite a duet, but oh, dude, Rena says you also got two songs from ACDC. Well, AC, everybody likes ACDC, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Marsden points out, yeah, twentieth century boy Andy, you, you've got to you've got to try T Rex. Andy, this here's the point: there was so much brilliant music that was created even before <coughs> you were born that you can go and delve into, and we're here to guide you through your journey. Guns and Roses, Guns and Roses are quite like, but they are a little bit derivative, a bit hair metal. I, I, I wouldn't say I was a fan, but they've, they've done a handful of good songs for sure would be my feeling on it. But, um, I mean, 
T-Rex. You really need to check out T-Rex. Have we got any Alex Harvey band on there? Um, I don't do the Reno. Um, I don't, mate. Blood Curse has just pulled out some baby metal for Andy. You, you want to start off with Gimme Chocolate, as that seems to be the... the um, that tells you everything you need to know. And Killjoy's just cheered 100. Let's force Andy to watch Baby Metal after the match. <laughs> Marzum says Deep Purple. Well, Marzum, I reply to you, sir, Black Sabbath. But, you know, the both iconic. Clayman doesn't like ACDC. He's indifferent to them. Um, are they a bit samey? Well, that has been leveled at ACDC, but I'd say no. I'd say no. I like, I like ACDC. Sassanik says Andy and Zunk hiles one nil up, and yet Zunk is talking about anything other than bloodfold. Things are not as well as they seem, and Andy is sad. Um, I don't know why he's sad. Um, oh, you're playing Regor. I know Regor. Regor and I have played several mm. times before I got relegated. Um, uh. Yes, I've played Regor. The, the Warriors aren't too dangerous, apart from one of them who's death on a stick. I seem to remember. Yeah. Uh, um, it doesn't yeah, matter though, because he can just only, he only rolls elevens and tens, so it doesn't need to be dangerous because he just kills the team just by default by looking at them. Just a Velociraptor. Hello, mate. How you doing? Uh, Pilgrim Pod says Led Zeppelin. Go. I mean, Led Zeppelin are outstanding. I, I did buy quite a lot of the Led Zeppelin albums. Um, Flickstream says, has Andy heard of that um, popular group from Liverpool, the Beatles? Maybe. Elgin's not cheering for Andy. I'm fucking not cheering for Andy. This is re I'm really... Ooh, 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 ooh. Monty's just said for four months in a row. Monty, get out mate. Four months. So this is that random credit card charge I'm getting. Here I thought it was porn. How disappointed I am. Hi, by the way, guys. Well, Monty, we've got links to baby metal. So, I mean, that you get some money, um, value for money out of that, mate. How are you doing, you old tusser? Fantastic to see you. Dynamo Des says the salt is strong. Hold on, you're winning. I won't win. This will be a, at best a draw. At best. Um, and the team's just exploded. I, it, I'm, it... A cynical man might describe customer service escalated calls as talking to people who don't really appreciate what they've got and just being complaining for the sake of it. Now, I'd say, well, I'd like to say that being on this show with you is entirely different to that right. proposition. All right. This, it, this is going badly. This is still going badly. It was going badly at the beginning. It's still going badly. It's been going badly all game. Um, it's bad. Well, at least Manchester United didn't get knocked out by the Champions League by Sevilla at Old Trafford just now. <sighs> okay. It'll be fine. Um, oh, hang on. Incorrect. Breaking news. Uh, yes, they did. Sorry, Andy. Did they really? Fucking hell. They lost, or they were losing... Uh, oh, they lost. One. Yeah, they lost. Idiots. Marzum used to have to explain to people what term insurance was 20 fucking years after they bought it. Well, Marzum, the good news is at least term insurance is very easy to understand. You know, it... it ooh, I, I, I actually quite like work. Um, I, 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 we didn't stream when I was doing my last job, but my last job was, in large portions... A bit of a nightmare. This is not a bit of a nightmare. It's nice people, nice building. Customers are broadly all right. Um, yes, I like this. It's a good place to work. Very good. Fant Fox says, severe oranges are not the only fruit. That's very deep, Fant Fox. Thank you for that. Um, TNS says, anyway, Zunk is like entire UK working in phone support. No, TNS, some of them are, some of them work in banks as well. Um, that's also popular. Or they're electricians, but they're mostly um, Eastern Bloc now. Donkey Dragon and Sassanique are calling you out for that last block. Not sure why, because I wasn't watching. Shall I watch? Do you need help? Do you need, do you need cheering up a bit? I'm in an awfully good mood. Oh, good. Stupid pub 
pass <coughs> to know more about term insurance. Marzam, would you like to do the honours or, or shall I step in? I, I was an IFA for 10 years and I used to like term insurance. You got whopping commissions on term insurance. Well, TNS, technically I don't work in phone support as such. Technically. Ah, Monty. Now that's an interesting point. I've always gone with TNS thinking it, it, that it was maybe some sort of courier firm, you know, next day delivery guaranteed, all that. So TNS, can you can you correct me if I've got it wrong all this time? Is it Tennessee? Because I, I could do I could do that if you want, mate. Um, oh, Stotty says thanks very much, Andy. You just pulled the fucking noble team. You just conceded to what the dark elves just conceded before this. Yep. Andy. Yes. Andy. Yes, they did. Really? Oh no. Uh, well, um, oh, we, turn turn one. We ran into. Um, uh, sorry, turn one. Um, we ran into someone really dangerous straight away, and I was like, and turn one, I let an elf died. Um, and I was already suffering some MNGs, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix the team, and and I've got, uh, I've got some banked players that I yeah, banked. I'm I'm a bit far ahead in terms of I don't need to win the games, so why why bother? Risking the record. Uh, sorry, why are you risking the team when you don't need the record? Yeah, fine. But apart from that, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, margin Term insurance is much easier than car insurance because car insurance, people change stuff and then get really upset when the premium changes. Like, I've just chopped in my Vauxhall Nova for a Maserati. What do you mean you want more money off me? You know, that, that happens. Uh, True Blues cheers, <laughs> has just cheered, um, actually kill them, Andrew. <laughs> That's good advice. Uh, the Nurgle was Spartaco's Nurgle. Well, Spartaco plays Nurgle quite a bit, doesn't he? We've, we've seen him before. True yep. Blue, thank you very much for the bits. Pauper says, um, tell me about the Underworld game. Did you play Underworlds, Andy? We did, and I'm not playing them again. What? I, I, no, I hate them. Like, more than I hate Skaven, not playing them again. No, 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 it, 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 it's fine. It's, I'm actively not going to play them again. I, I don't like them. Um, I didn't it's enjoy Killjoy them. Now. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I'm not playing Killjoy, them Killjoy, how, how did you take that news? And Necropotence asks, what's so wrong about uh, baby metal? I, I wouldn't go as far to say wrong. I just find it uncomfortable that they, they seem like children. Though I know, I know that they're in their 20s. I know this. <laughs> But they do look like children. That's a little bit. Is it wrong? I, I get that. I, I, I think Kawhi is something that is probably not for me. But um, in, interesting nonetheless. Fluxstreamer says, Happy birthday, Zunk. Subscribes for eight months in a row and says, Congrats on the twins, Andy, and much love. Thank you very much indeed, Fluxstreamer. And oh, 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 it's that special time of the month again. Hang on. What? I always get worried when uh, when people say that. Well, or worried when they don't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, distorter, yeah. Well, welcome to my world. <laughs> uh, yeah, Helgen, that is exactly what I was referring to. Perfectly innocent. Um, let me just refresh the stream so it actually happens. I want to be properly thanked for my support. Would baby metal work? Oh, oh, that's what baby. I know exactly what it is now. It's Japanese metal, isn't it? There you go. Nine months in a row. Not long from now, baby Darvo will be saying that, won't he? <laughs> Nine months in a row. Wow. No, get me. Wow. Oh. Thing is, thing is, I'm not the number one fan because I didn't subscribe first. I got beat to it. Wow. Can't remember who was first. Who was first? Zunk's a sub, baby. True Blue, you are most welcome. <clears throat> yeah. 
<laughs> oh god, Tuco's rocked up. Hello, Tuco. Yes, home again, home again. <laughs> Tuco's got that ball full of... Oh, you've got a double espresso with froth milk, my favourite. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> it's he's a very persistent cat, isn't he? Um All right, Donkey Dragon asks not uh, somebody who doesn't watch Andy's stream very often. Well Donkey Dragon, you know, there's a solution to that. Come by more often. Who is the headless voice on stream that isn't lip synced to Andy? Um Donkey Dragon, we started streaming in June. Um Andy said to me one day, I fancy streaming some Blood Bowl, will you give us a hand? And we've done it a joint effort from day one. So uh I'm Zunk. Uh I also play Blood Bowl. Not quite as well as Andy, but mostly just talk to the audience. And sometimes we'll ask Andy about the game. <laughs> yeah, that does happen from time to time. It's bizarre. It doesn't happen often. Um, but when it does, it's lovely. Oh, yes, that reminds me. Um, do you know the thing we were talking about, um, Underworld Trolls? Oh, yeah. Is that, so that's kind of off the table now, isn't it? Um... Kinda. Right. Okay. Um, um, I'm, we need to talk to Armor True Blue and go. Uh, I, no, no, I, 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 I am talking to True Blue. Um, he, no, he, 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 there are alternatives. He's, he's up for um, um, other interesting positionals. Could you? I don't think we're going to be doing Kislev again very soon. What's what's you? Because obviously the Dark Elves are going great guns. What's next season's favoured team? Would you guess, Andy? Have we got any ideas? And Donkey Dragon, nice to meet you too, mate. Nice to meet you too. Normally I'm here all the time, but I, I, I started working shifts, so that means Tuesdays I'm late. But Saturdays I'm here the whole time. Sundays most of it. Venturus, that's exactly my point. The baby metal videos is a catchy tune. The lads in the background, the cami band, they can play. But you do feel like a dirty old man, don't you, watching it? You feel like you should be watching it in a Mac. <laughs> yes, it's, it's grubby. Um, what, are next, it's, what are next season's teams going to be? That is a very good question. I don't know. Um... Well, look, what... Regarding the, regarding True Blue's particular situation, he remains at top of the list, um, and so whatever we choose next season, um, if True Blue's on, we can specifically ask him. But if he isn't, something like a catcher, something something that will be you know, an interesting play. You know what? What we are going to do, True Blue, uh, Zunk, and I, um, when we when we confirm what teams we're going to make, we're going to let you f first choice of the fir of the first team. You can have any positional on that team. I think we can't say oh. further than that. Can we say fairer than that? I don't think we can say fairer than that. Flux Dreamer confirms he watches the show in a Mac. Well, <laughs> there, there's I, I, now that now that there's less Kelly and Rachel. Um, but no, I suppose what if it rains? If you're watching it outside, that's that's fair enough, mate. <laughs> um, and maybe no, ooh, and, it, and, it, and 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 as we've got a reasonable crowd on at the moment. Um, Andy and I were talking um, on Sunday evening um, about uh, on having a business <coughs> stream on Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, we were talking mm -hmm. about just just for an hour or two, um, trying to branch out. What do you think of Vermintide if we started playing a bit of that? And we'd, we'd draft in some some pals as well, probably. So, would Vermintide be remotely interesting to anybody? Or, or are we just pissing in the wind? Like, ephemerally. You keep using this word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Helgen just brought Vermintide. Uh, Vermintide. Uh, Alokan's up for it. Huanchi's go back to Warhammer. Um, I see, I like Warhammer, but I, I know it's not Andy's number one thing. Um... There's quite, yeah, there's quite, all right, that sounds like a plus. So, Vermintide is a green light, we can give it a go. Cool. Um, I was talking to Moss today, who's, um, may or may not be around later to have a quick discord with us, but uh, I think you'd, I'd really like to get 
that uh, my pal from work, Moss, on the show. He'd, he'd be a very good um, guest host, I would say. All right, okay. Oh, oh, there's some backlash. There's some backlash. Well, this this wouldn't be a key thing. This would be very much a Billy bonus stream, because um, th obviously Sage does Blood Bowl on Thursdays, and it would be like a half nine till eleven kind of gig. I'm guessing. Well, we can give it a go. It's, it as, it won't be impacting how much Blood Bowl is played. I would like to add the Blood Bowl will remain the same. This will be additional. Helgen says, "Am I playing Verminside?" Um, I haven't bought it yet, Helgen, but I do, I, I do quite like the look of it. Um, what we might do is, if there's enough folks playing, is I might just actually talk to you guys, <coughs> because um, we, we were quite conscious. Quite a lot of what we do on this show is, is talk to the audience, and if we're both um, absolutely um, focused on, you know, smacking Chaos Warriors with battle axes and stuff maybe the chitter chatter would suffer so maybe i don't play but i don't know donkey donkey dragon ass do the skaven in vermintide have health insurance perchance um i don't know i'm not i'm not in life life and pensions anymore mate we, we, i'm general so whether the chaos warriors have got um fully comprehensive cover for the chariots and that i don't know They'd be quite hard to cover, though. I mean, the risks would be enormous. Well, d bear in mind, Vermintide Two isn't isn't Skaven so much; it's um, Chaos. But uh, anyway, so all right. Well, look, we'll we'll give that a little go and and see how it how it goes on. Um, Killjoy only only watches Blood Bowl, Eve Online, and anything. Rudbeckia does. Is Rudbeckia South Korean and between the ages of 18 and 21 Killjoy? Just asking because I don't click that link. And the cat's here. Don't really give him a taste for K pop, do we? Oh, I don't know what's coming in the cat. He just, he, he won't leave it alone. Get off. Um, BZL, do you know what? That's kind of what we expect to happen. Um, like I say, this, this isn't instead of Blood Bowl, it's in addition to, it's a bit of a laugh, and if, if we get a handful of, um, new viewers from doing it, brilliant. If we don't, then we've just had a bit of a laugh playing, yep, Vernon Tide. So, we're, we've got fully managed expectations, but I suspect you may be right. Yeah. Um, just blue ball tactical thing there. I noticed I've I have uh, tried to snaffle up his strength five tentacles um, with something that he'd need to roll a thirty percent knockdown to try and knock over. Um, so uh, I was hoping that Lollathorn might just survive a turn or two against that. But who who would survive that? My wrestle dot. Oh fuck off! Oh fuck! Off. Off! Can you please stop it? Oh, he's all right. Yeah, but that's the fourth casualty he's done from bullshit, like bullshit blocking. But you like you normally like saying that word, and you didn't say it right. Bush Ranger fan just by doing a, an image shirt for Kelly Brook and lo and behold, we need we need a bit more Kelly. We're very lacking Kelly these days. Ten eleven, Miss Kelly. Armor are insane. You know, I went away um, Saturday, Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week. Mm -hmm. 
Tuco, Dirty Protest, Sunday night. I'm sat watching a, um, an episode of Endeavour, as you do, um, with me sandwich. Tuco comes in, does a bit of scratching the carpet, looks me dead in the eye and takes a whiz in front of the fire. So, <laughs> Why does he do that? Because he's just cross. Because he, I don't know. He, he, I did ask him, but he wasn't talking. Um, but so it's immediately, you, you've got to pounce on this and get soapy water and drench it and mop and all that real quick. Because as you might imagine, um, cat pee pee, he smelled very bad. But it was like, I'm looking at you and you're doing it and you're going, Tuco, no, bad. So you pick him up and he's still doing it. And it's like, oh God, I've put him down again, otherwise he's going to go everywhere. And then it's it, like you put him outside and he just walks straight back in. You go, bad. And he's like, what? You went away. Fucking deal with it. Aldar says this team needs more Dolph. What, Lundgren? Aratark has just cheered 100. Zunk is right. Uh, Kelly is our goodness, goddess and should be worshipped. Oh, isn't she? True Blue cheers 100 salts. Um, thank you very much for the... For, sorry, 10 salts. Uh, Andy the salt miner. Pull off health boots, bullshit or no balls. I'm running out of elves. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely irritated with how much bollocks he's managed. I didn't think it was going to go quite this badly. No one's dead. Yeah, they are. We actually have got a dead one. Well, Superior's a bit dead, but... Isn't that good? But, uh, oh, Dolph is a Danish hippo with a baseball bat. You're right, we don't have much of that. Hmm. It's Sorry, Aldan, we should look into that. Sorry, Andy, I'm not being sympathetic. Am I? It's taken should all I, the I, strategy I'm out of this game. It, it's it's just got rid of all the strategy because they just don't have any elves left. I, I... Nah. Cat Villama, no, she isn't. Wash your mouth out. That's a terrible thing to say. She's the woman I love and we're to be married, maybe. Do you want some empathy? Been on a course. Do you, want, do, do, do you need some bit of empathy? Would that help? No. No? No good? You don't want to give empathy anyway. No, you don't want empathy. Right. Offers there, should you want them. Yeah. Six fucking elves left. Ooh, now, Ninja Tings and um, Necropotence talking about Japanese food being particularly good. Do you know, I've never really been to a Japanese restaurant. You know, I'm, I'm vaguely aware of, you know, fish and sushi and that style of thing, but... I think I really thought I must go and get some Japanese food. Is it quite light and delicate and subtle and all that sort of thing? Donkey Dragon says, shouldn't we be just satisfied we use Dolph to break the richest tea? So the 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 hippo with a tennis racket broke tea. Oh no, what happened? Baseball bat, sorry. Oh, True Blue confirms that sushi is good. I haven't tried it. Bush Ranger points out that whale is neither um, light or delicate. That's a, that's a good point well made, mate. I didn't really think of that. Katsu curry. That sounds familiar. Is that is that Japanese? What's what's involved with katsu curry? Because I mean, it's got curry in the title, so you know, it must be pretty good. Um, I just by it's more just by coincidence, Killjoy. That there's not lots and lots of sushi places in the UK. I mean, obviously there are some, but it's um. Oh no, I'm not making curry out of cats. Oh no, that's a terrible idea. But um, but just by coincidence, I've I've never been in. A, you know, someone's going, let's go on for sushi, and then we did. I'm... Shit fucking dice. Bush Ranger, back me up here. What would you say, as an Englishman, obviously down under, but English, um, sushi's not all over the place in the UK, is it? You probably get probably more of it in London. But I'd say in the provincial cities, not loads of it. Oh, 
absolutely shit dice. <laughs> Pilgrim Francis to count crab sticks count. <laughs> Um, crabs, crab sticks are sort of all right unless you consider what they are. You know, mechanically recovered fish reconstituted, having been bleached and reformed into something that looks a little bit like crab, but actually isn't really crab. Ugh. Well, no, I mean, no, crab sticks are quite nice, but you just... It's, they are the fish equivalent of sausages. Don't think about what they are and how they're made, and you'll be fine. <clears throat> oh right, Venturis katsu chicken. Yes, of course I've had that. Um, that that is yes, that's quite good. Though I tell you what, I think I think we mentioned this on um, Sunday actually. The thing that I really do want to track down, um, and I might need to go back to the northeast to do it, but it is spreading. Is chicken parmo. Chicken parmo is just the best food ever. And, and scary enough, I'm pretty confident Andy would like it, which isn't a reflection on the quality of it as a dish, I hasten to add. But uh, Andy, chicken parmo is um, a, what do you call it? Uh, a scallop of chicken. So ch chicken hammered thin, coated in breadcrumbs, deep, deep fried in breadcrumbs. I think a little bit like fried rat a bit. Um, covered in a mixture of bechamel sauce and two sorts of cheddar, usually served with massive chips and salad. Oh. Is anybody else familiar with chicken parmo? Killjoy, don't, don't be angry. It's just coincidence that I haven't had Japanese food. I don't know of any Japanese restaurants that I've seen in the northeast or Leicester. There may be some. I've just never seen any. Uh, kill, yes, is kill, is Killjoy Hungarian? He is indeed. Uh, Dr. Nick says, do they have salad in Newcastle? Yes, of course they do, Dr. Nick. Um, it doesn't fly off the shelf, I grant you. But... Uh... No, no shelf flying. Chicken parmo is traditional Aussie pub food, says Bush Ranger. It... not... It's a T-side invention, I'd have said. Bro oh, right. Casually yeah. broken armour again. Again. Right. Rice Station introduces a concept, Hot Shot Parmo. Same thing, but with pepperoni and jalapeno on top of the cheese. Oh my god, does that exist? Where can one get such a thing? Rice Station. I, I'm wanting... I want this. I know I did now. Oh god. Rice Station, you're not from the northeast by any chance, are you, mate? Ninja Tings confirms there are, in fact, three Japanese restaurants in Leicester. Yeah, but that they're com they're competing with like 900 Indian restaurants. So you can forgive me for, you know, not noticing them. Rice Station, um, oh, Rice Station in Yarm. Have we talked about this already? Because I don't remember talking with you about Yarm, but I went to school in Yarm. Um, I was there last year when a, a pal of mine was renting a house there until he, he bought a house um, in uh, Great Brompton. And our mum and dad used to live in Kirk Levington, just down the road. Ah! You aren't Fucking guys, it's are just so bad! By any chance, remember the Kirk Levington Country Club. God! Killjoy confirms I'm still not forgiven. Oh. Oh. I did talk about baby metal for a bit, Killjoy. Does that that get some points, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, T. There was an Italian on the high street in Yarm Rye Station. Yes, do. Uh, oh, God. He. Oh dear, we've lost Zunk. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have lost Zunk. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hang on a sec. I'll, start, I'll restart Discord, see if that fixes it. I we have uh, we have Mike down. Oh look, he's powered me again. Look, these I, I'm not shitting. This dice is fucking ridiculous. Testing. Yes. Fine. Bloody Discord there. Eh? Zunkbot. Zunkbot took over. <laughs> it's 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 not us. It's bloody Discord being pants. I... <laughs> Killjoy says, Andy, please be quiet. We're trying to talk here. This is going to be a draw, Andy. That's not in the world, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is tier one of OCC. This is not good. Uh... Ooh, it's 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 all the casualty good. dice. That's that's what's tilting the shit out of me. He's got no kill skills other than one player who's not on the pitch, and he's beat the fuck out of my team. Like full on, absolutely smashed them to pieces. When you put it like that, yeah, I suppose. He has. He's beat the shit out of them. He's played really well. His position is really, really good. I have no problem with the, the way he's played. I am concerned about how much damage we've taken. It's been way over the statistical norm. Dolph Ogwolf Medfenner. Um, I don't know, Pauper. T, you're, you're familiar with the work of Dolph, I believe, I'll be. And T, when are you going to come over down to Leicester and, so you can come and work with us? You'd, you'd love it, man. Bring bring things with you. I think we'll come in from the side. Ah, oh, sorry, it's not going very well, mate. Mm. Not your fault. It, it it just is what it is. I can't do it. It just frustrates the life out. This is what happens every time I get into tier one of this fucking thing. Oh, well, anyway, right, blitz. We we could try rebroking the policy. See if that brings the premium down a bit for you. That normally helps. <laughs> Tings is not going back to England. Ten years was more than a f oh, fair play, Tings. Oh, it was a tenuous reason. It was it was just to do that. Uh, Huanchi, you can come to Leicester if you want, mate. Oh, hello. Is there a glimmer of hope? Possibly not. Taghus, good evening. How are you doing? Yes, blood curse. Casual pal, just a flick of the wrist and the ball's on the deck. Fantastic. Oh, I say um, Adam from Call of Cthulhu, who's back. I hadn't seen him for ages. <coughs> Morgana Maeve says, stream of power turned on. Oh, Andy got away from the technicals. Happy days. And it's all coming together. <laughs> tentacles, what tentacles? You go, girl. Oh, Tagus's Elven Union team arrived in the post today, so we can start converting the Wood Elves. Um, how are we? And Andy's wrestling with the cruel and outrageous slings and arrows, etc., etc. 
and I'm absolutely tip top. Thank you very much for asking. Killjoy says, Andy, you've got to set up a way to let us donate to, to get you to watch YouTube videos. Three dollars for every ten seconds, all the cuttery and streamers are doing it. <sighs> Does it come across as a bit mercenary, a bit grasping? I don't know. <sighs> Three dollars for ten seconds is a hell of a rate, though, isn't it? Hmm, that is a very high rate. Three cents for ten hours sounds a bit fairer. Three dollars? Hang on, what? Sorry, three dollars? What? I'm not going back to England. Ninja Tings, where? Hang on, what? You're not going back to England? Oh, because she's Scotland. Right, I was like... Bing! Nicky, 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 Bing! La, 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 la. Nicky, nicky, bing! That's my favourite baby metal song. What happened there? Did, did she just have a slight meltdown? I've had no, one on no, camera. I was just doing, a bit, just doing a bit of baby metal because we were talking about it. Uh, Noamto, Noamto, hello, mate. How are you? Hello, Noamto. Um, says... Which are your favourite and least favourite counties in England? Uh, well, N N Durham or Northumberland on <laughs> favourites. I, re I really like their least favourite. Um, Leicestershire. Um, no, London. Just Greater London. Birmingham. Birmingham. London. Birmingham is not a county, but you know. London. Uh, I don't. I actively. L yeah, London. Actively dislike them. So Kent, but then there's some nice bits in Kent. The the London yeah. bit of Kent is probably I want to avoid. I, I like all the bits of Kent that have got exit signs. They're great. Well, for all the baby metal fans out there, wasn't my um, interpretation fairly close? Yes, no, maybe. Oh, I thought pal. it was pretty good. Onto the ball. Where will it go? The randomizer. Come over over here, please. Over here. Over here. Yes, over here. Bullshit. This game's been bullshit. That's, that's what's hard, just happened It's hard to there. say worst county, because most counties have got some redeeming features, nice bits in them. I mean, let's not forget the Dark Place, a.k.a. Sunderland, is also in County Durham, isn't it? So, you know. I'd, I'd, if you said towns, that'd be a lot easier. Um, thank you, Huanshi. Very good. Oh, that, wow. That, that is going to be number one clip, mark my words. So t tell me that that isn't quite a good uh, interpretation of what Baby Metal are all about. Mm. By the way, um, <clears throat> haven't you just won? Andy. Andy Welsh. Don't, don't talk about it. <laughs> right. So, me plus the other 150 odd folks watching this are right. And once again, do you know anything about Blood Bowl? You're rubbish at predicting these outcomes. You're always going, oh, I'm not going to win this one. And yet, what always happens? Andy, can you do us a favour and moan about how I haven't won the National Lottery yet? Just following this through to its natural conclusion. Um, by the way, is this final game? Um, not sure. <coughs> I bet Rago took it on the chin like a good sport, because he is. What, what did he say? Andy, I hate you, jammy bastard. Unbelievable, Jeff! Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I think it was, actually, yeah. No, yeah, he was a, a good sport when we played. I can't remember if it was another one of my defeats or whether we actually drew. But So uh, we had good, good chitty chat whilst doing it. Oh, you've injured another one, look. Brutal. Yeah, I think the point 
about Kent was really that London's in it and much of London is just a massive pain in the neck. So Kent per se is not all Kent. Some lovely parts of Kent. My aunt lives in Kent, for example. Very nice. It's Tunbridge Wells in Kent. That was very, I used to go out with a girl in Tunbridge Wells. Very inconvenient to get to, but very nice place. Quite liked her. She was a lawyer. It's very good. But um, yeah, just just a bit too far to go. A bit too far. Um, I think we end it on a double six, don't we, really? What, level up? Probably. I, I, I honestly, I didn't win that game. One, one <laughs> bad dice roll lo dr meant he, he lost. And I don't, I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like it. it, it, it I take that every time, mate. Yeah, but I don't like it. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. He, he played really well. He played really, really well. Um, good ball carry he's got there. What's he got? Arms, sure hands, dodge, block, movement. That, that's a very tasty goat runner. Oh, bloody MVP good. again. Tuco MVP, not the end of the world, I suppose. Well, he's, he's going to level up again, isn't he? Take tackle, isn't he? True Blue's just cheered 10. Thank you for the bits, True Blue. Uh, Thank you very bullshit much. Bullshit reigns supreme. Well, doesn't it always? Sickening, isn't it? Well, you, you, you've got a bunch of turns where you were getting a bit dice raped with the casualties, and then Regal got thwarted by um, Dodgy can't get the ball back. So, you know, it all evens out, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, now that's a that's a that's a tempter. Were you about to say suits you, sir? No. Um, six four, ten, on the killer. There's a tempter. Ooh. What movement or armor? Yeah. Um, well, it's either, isn't it? Um, but it's well, armor, though. Yeah. But it, it it's the question of the movement. So I was going to take jump up. Jump up because um, he might blow piling on and jump up. Um, I'd say jump up. It's a normal. And what are you going to do with the movement? Because he's already, he's already quick enough to do killing. Um, <laughs> well, see, yeah. I, a, a, a V. No, no, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm not considering the A V. I'm considering whether you take the movement eight um, just for actually having a bit more movement. Um, but it doesn't. The movement doesn't really help him in his primary role. Um, jump up would mean he's always movement seven. Um, movement eight just means I, he's movement I, five I when he really stands would, up. I'd I'd take jump up, but then building elves is not my specialist field of. You know, if I was on mastermind, then it's no, you're a specialist subject. Uh, how to build high elves, please, Magnus. Yeah, the, the whole stream's going jump up. Pro is the professional choice. Well, you you could always seriously go uh, pro as his seventy six point skill, but no, it, it is jump up, isn't it? Is has anyone else got anything that's yeah? Everyone's saying jump up. I, I agree. Two, two go records of jump up, don't you? Two? Yes. Yeah, jump. Up. All right, we skipped it. I've gone jump up. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 He just needs claw at seventy six, and then he's quite a good player. <laughs> Um, he's a good player now. He's great. Three, four, and you were all worried about Alderon being missing, and now you've got Geeks, who's way better. Well done, Geeks. Backbone of the team, icon. Yeah, he's, he's quite good. Now we've got 110k. Uh, who are we playing next week? Let's have a look. Because we've only got ten players now. Fucking dead ones. Um, Mars, I'm, no, I'm not on the, I'm not on the couch, mate. I'm in the, I'm in the swivelly, recliny, computery thing. chair, leaning backwards with my feet on the other chair, um, and 
two of the cats sat on the table between me and the keyboard, having a fag. Uh, but I'm in a Mac, obviously. Uh, so we're. Uh, I'm thinking about do, do I buy uh, the other Blitzer? 